Are you looking for a type of food that it's good for a lot of things? I have you one. It's avocados. It's funny because we all love avocados and we know that avocados have a lot of benefits for cardiovascular health, for our weight control, for inflammation, but we don't know really why. But the thing is, a lot of people are afraid of avocados and we're going to talk in this video about all the benefits, what is really good about avocados and which are those myths around avocados and why people don't eat them. But we can know for sure that those myths are false and why are they false? And you might be asking questions like, are they really good for me? Is it, what are the benefits of avocados or what are the nutrients that are good for me in avocados? Are they good or bad for my cholesterol? Do they, are they only fat? or they have some protein? Do they have carbs? Do they have minerals? So let's go and start with this video. But before going through this video, please remember that there is a very easy way to support us. We really want to build a big community like the one we have in, in Spanish. In Spanish, we have over 2 million followers, but we really want to build this community with you. And it's very easy. It's just to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so we can tell you whenever we make new videos and also to share the videos with the people that you think that this content might be useful. If we want to go deep into avocados and start by the health benefits and then we, we're going to go deeper and deeper talking about all the nutrients. What are the health benefits that we see today supported by science on avocados? First of all is that it's very nutrient rich. If you want to know like a superfood it's something that it's very very rich in nutrients that you can find it easily. This is something that you're going to find in avocados. What are we going to find? We're going to find healthy fats. It's very rich in fiber. It's very low in starches. So we're going to find antioxidants and we're going to find good amount of vitamins like vitamin K, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin B5 and B6 and also folate which is B9. The other health benefit it's related to our heart because avocados have a lot of fiber the type of fat that they have that it's primary monounsaturated fat and they're also good because they help controlling inflammation and oxidation on the LDL particles. The other benefit is for blood pressure regulation because of the amount of potassium that it's in avocados. Potassium and magnesium are the two main nutrients that are going to help the arteries in our blood vessels, the muscle in the arteries to relax. They need to be, they need to contract whenever they need, that's mediated by calcium, but for them to relax you need potassium and you need magnesium. They can also help us controlling blood sugar because when, whenever we have a meal and we have a glucose spike after that meal, when we include good amounts of fiber and good amounts of healthy fats, the glucose spike is going to be lower, but it's also going to last for less amount of time. The other thing is the spike in insulin that goes because of the glucose spike, it's going to be lower. And we know that when we control the amount of insulin that we have in our body, controlling inflammation, weight gain, on being anxious for food, on having insulin resistance and all the problems that are linked to insulin resistance are going to be lower. So again, we need insulin as something to survive, but we don't need the higher amounts that we have today because of our eating habits that, that we have that are highly high in processed foods and very low in nutrient rich foods like avocados. We're going to see, of course, anti-inflammatory properties because of the fats that are linked, especially because of the monounsaturated fats, which is especially one called oleic acid, but also because of the nutrients that I just mentioned, like vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K, the minerals, the, the other minerals like magnesium, like potassium, because they all work in different stages on inflammation. So if we want to understand avocados, we can go by the macronutrients, under, understanding the nutrient distribution that they have. And again, what they have the most is fats, healthy fats, especially monounsaturated fats, which are the ones that everyone study from avocados. Remember that we don't eat foods. We eat a food that it's packed of nutrients and they're in a biochemical way that's going to have functions in our body. We're going to find monounsaturated fats, especially oleic acid. What other fats are we going to find? We're going to find, find omega-3s and omega-6, but they're going to be in the right balance so we don't lose balance in between omega-3 and omega-6. And if you want to understand this, we have a video when we spoke about all the seed oils and the problem they make 
when we lose this balance that if you haven't seen it we have it right here until this point you know that avocados are very helpful are very healthy and they're very helpful for a lot of different conditions but let's talk about the myths why people are afraid of avocados and maybe the one that i hear the most is that avocados will cause acne and no because you eat fats you're not going to have oily skin when you eat a lot of sugars a lot of processed foods those are the ones that are going to give you glucose and insulin spikes and then you're going to have inflammation and then you're going to produce a lot of fat in your skin but it's not produced because you are eating fats it's produced because you're eating a lot of sugars and a lot of processed carbohydrates the second one is because they have a lot of fat then i'm going to eat a lot of calories and then i'm going to gain fat if you eat like ridiculous amounts of avocados then of course you're going to gain weight but that's going to happen too if you eat ridiculous amount of whatever fats it's known that they are very nutrient dense and they have more calories than, than maybe the other macronutrients. But when you eat them in a good quantity, and if you eat maybe half or one avocado in the middle of a big salad, in the middle of a big meal with a good kind of protein, good amount of protein, good amount of fiber, nothing is going to happen and you're not going to gain weight. Actually, when you control blood sugar and when you control insulin and when you have good amounts of fiber, they are going to help you to lose weight. The other thing is I see a lot of people saying, yeah, avocados are fruits, so they must be uh, fully loaded with sugar. And yeah, avocados are fruits because they are a fruit, but they are not high in sugar at all. They don't have high levels of sucrose, which is the bonding of, of glucose and fructose. And there is something that I, I really want to encourage you to try. And it is that people think that avocados are only for savory dishes. And you will be surprised when you start using avocados for sweets. When you mix, if you take a, an avocado, maybe has avocado are the best, the ones that have the black shell or the black natural covering, because there are some that comes in green on the outside. No, the ones that we find mostly in Mexico, that are the ones that we, we see in with the black covering, which are called has avocados, then they the, the taste they have, it's not very bitter, like, like the ones that are covered on the outside in green. When you mix them with things, for example, with chocolate, they taste very, very good. In a very easy way in which you can give your kids something like a chocolate mousse, you can take this avocado, you can put it in a blender, add a little bit of cacao, natural cacao, natural chocolate is going to be also packed with nutrients. You can put a bit if you need of maybe almond milk or, or coconut milk or a little bit of water or maybe a little bit of olive oil or something that it makes it a little bit smoother and you can give it a try if you want to make it sweeter you can add allulose you can add maybe a little a little drops of stevia or some monk fruit but just in a little quantity and then you're going to have a very healthy sweet it's going to be a very healthy dessert your kids are going to love it i love it whenever i use it sometimes i mix it with a protein that i really like a lot that it's a bone broth protein that we developed in a company that i work for that it's called savvy but when we use it with chocolate it it goes the same avocados with a little bit of the protein i mix it and it makes a mousse for my kids making it a little bit more nutrient rich because i enhance the type of protein that it has but you can try it with whatever you want but don't just go for savory foods try it for for sweets as well so when we end up and we see all the benefits in avocados when we understand what is really inside of them we can really see they could be very necessary for our health they could be very necessary in our, in our diet and whenever people discuss whenever we see papers coming up from science showing all the benefits now you can understand why and that's why you shouldn't be afraid at all it's not going to cause you all the myths that people think and actually it's going to help for all the things that you might be afraid of when you think of not taking them well actually it's going to help you for that acne weight gain cholesterol or anything else so please guys enjoy avocados they are really good they are really great and this is something that we should be consuming all over the world if we can find them easily is if it's not very hard to find and if we're not affecting the planet by by doing it so but whenever we can try to consume them because really really for me they are a superfood before you leave please remember to just 
hit the like button, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. So every time that we make new videos, you're going to be the first one to get notified. Thank you. And till next time.